Welcome back to Northern Lights Disc Golf. I'm Brian Lagergren, and today I'll be bringing you coverage of the 2018 Rumble taking place down in Davenport, Iowa, Quad Cities, Westlake Park, uh, round one, front 12. I just hooked up with a random open card. We got Ben Kroll, uh, Joel Luliff, Tom Earhart, and Col Colin Poe, I believe. These guys probably started on probably one of the worst stretches that they could have started on this course. Uh, this is a pretty tough hole. It's a par five. It's pretty much a 90 degree angle. You want to shoot down to the green grass area down there. And try not to go in the woods on either side. Let's see what Ben's got. Stay out of that, it'll be a good shot. Here's Colin. Looks like, looks like that's going to be a great shot. Here we got Joe. Take another good shot. It is quite a crush, about 400 I would say to, to that green grass spot on the corner. So Tom's just going to want to get right up to that corner, I would think. Not do anything too crazy. Forehand roller. Looks like it's working out pretty good. Needs to stop there. Ben's got a better angle. He's still got a little bit of a... Yeah, he just wants to shoot to the corner there. Looks like Joe's doing the same thing. Looks like Colin's not too bad off. Tom's got another tight angle here. He's still got to try to get around the corner. He's not quite to it yet. But. And you can't really tell, but everything is thorny. So when you go in the woods like that, there's thorns everywhere. And this is April, so I'd hate to see it in the middle of the summer. Looks like they're all sitting right on the corner. So from here I would say there's about 200 out, maybe a little further, but it's still quite a tunnel that they have to shoot through.
it's a little early. Nice shot for Ben. Oh, one branch. That was a bad kick. Joe's right in the middle, textbook. If he can keep this without going in the sides, he'll be money. Just like that. Good shot by Joe. Rough lie here. Well, you're just going to get out and back in. That's a tough break for Tom. Looking good. It's good up by Colin. Looks like Tom's gonna have to just pitch back out again. Tom gives it a little run, lays it up, he'll have a putt. I believe this is a look for birdie for Ben. Nice birdie, good start. Good par for Colin. Gets it in. Get that hole out of the way. That was a rough start for Tom. Birdie for Joe. There's another fun hole. Depending on what the wind's doing, um, as you can see, there's really, there's really no fairway. Um, if you hyzer off too much, you're in the, the thick stuff. Chances are you're not going to have a shot. You're just going to have to pitch back out. So you really want to hang them out wide and hope they carry in bounds. Maybe get a little play off the water even. Oh, just coming up a little short for Ben. Let's see what Joe's got. That's not going to do it. So those guys will go to the drop zone, which is the short tee on this hole. 
over on the other side of the, the lake, which still isn't an easy spot to shoot from. Let's see if Colin got a little read off those guys. It's looking good. Oh, well, he hit inbounds up there. I'm not sure if he goes to the drop zone or takes it from that spot. All right, Tom, come on. Everybody's been OB so far. Looks like it's going to be good. Hey, he's inbounds. Sit. Sit. Good shot. He's going to have a little testy putt. See, what I don't like about this drop zone is you still can't see the basket from it because of the, it's so overgrown on that left side. Oh, tough break for Ben. Joe put a little more hyzer on it. He's getting around that corner. We'll have to see if he's in the fairway or if he went in the woods a little bit. So it looks like Colin did have to come to the drop zone. He didn't get to play it where he hit in. Little ground play. Looks like Tom's inside circle two. Joe got lucky he didn't go in a little deeper. Oh, sit. Yeah, no one likes to take two OB strokes. Looks like Colin got in there a little bit further than Joe did, but looks like he still got a putt. Kind of, you can see that branch moving. Oh, good putt for, for Colin. See if Tom can get, get the par. Good par for Tom. Good bounce back from that last hole. Looks like Ben's going fishing. Got another par four. I call this hole the light at the end of the tunnel. You can't see the basket from here, but you can see just a little bit of light blue coming through at the very top up there. That's where the basket is. Such a tight fairway. This hole is kind of ridiculous if you ask me. It needs a lot of maintenance. Great shot. Colin put it right up there by the short tee. He's going to have a 
pretty good uh, spot there to throw from. Looks like Ben got a bad kick there. Stay out. Maybe he got through. We'll have to see. It's just nasty. You know, Tom's not even in very far, and it's just nasty. This would be a great hole if it was just cleaned up about four feet on each side of the fairway and all you'd be taking out is just scrubby brush you're not even cutting trees down yeah ben's just going to take his medicine here and pitch out not do anything too stupid I think this shot is probably, he's probably sitting worse than he was on his last shot. Just thickness of the woods and scrubbiness. He's out. See if Colin can get a nice straight shot right up there. Oh, looks like he was going for that little flex shot. Just caught a branch. The fairway actually gets skinnier as you go up the hill too, believe it or not. Good looking shot by Ben. little low he's gonna have some work still ah oh, just caught the corner Looks like Colin's going to be able to give this a little run. Looks like Joe's a little obstructed. <laughs> Looks like Tom gets a double bogey. On to the next hole. Joe's gonna clean up her my bogey.
Ben's going to have a drop in par. And par for Colin. Another par four. So they started on a par five, then they went to a par three, then they went to a par four. Now here's another par four. <laughs> you guys are getting the theme. This hole's tough too. You're shooting down this hill, around the corner. You can't shoot too far because there's a lake down there. And then you want to go right after that. About another 200 feet. Colin likes it. Good looking shot by Ben. Nice turnover. I think that's a little too tight. I think he wanted to hang that out a little, little lefter. Looks good. Yeah, you're definitely not going to get this one from the tee, so you really just kind of want to get down to the corner. Leave yourself with a look at the basket. If you're too tight right, you're not you're not going to have a very good look. Looks like Tom's hanging out over the water. Nope. Playing it safe. I think Ben got caught up on the edge of the trees there. Joe's just gonna have to pitch it out there. Like I said, he probably didn't even he couldn't even see the basket from where he was sitting, so. Looks to be a good spot for Colin with his forehand. I'm sure he's just going to kind of hang it out there a little high over the water and hopefully it just spikes down in bounds. Get down. Perfect shot. This up shot really for, favors a forehand, as you can see with the water on the left hand side there. Man, it's thick in there. Tom's not having very good luck today in these first couple holes. He's out. He's got to sit. Oh. The lake's down a bit, so those banks are pretty steep, so it's very easy to roll off of them. A little low. Nice birdie for Ben. I think this is for par. Par for Joe. Colin with the drop in birdie.
Hey, more water. This is a fun hole, though. You can just really crush a hyzer out over the water, trust it to come back, and you can actually get there. You guys can't really tell, though, but it's really windy today. There's really no foliage on the trees, so you can't, you can't see anything blowing around. Colin's going to be a little short. Some guys will play it in tighter than others. Just hug the tree line, get around the corner. Joe's going a little wider. Oh, just hung up. If he wanted to hit those branches, that would have been an excellent shot. See if Tom can get one to float in there over the crest. That'll be a good shot. Semi-death putt. He's got water to his right. And he kind of slants that way to begin with, so. Oh, now you can hear that wind a little bit. Going for it. A little high. Ben's got a look. And water right right behind the basket. Oh. Joe's going to have a tester for this comeback here. Good comeback. Good birdie for Tom. Tom's kind of starting on a roller coaster. Ben and Colin will pick up their pars. Another par four and more water. Water's not as bad on this one. Um, the basket is kind of down by there. But to get a, a good shot on this, you kind of have to flex it high and put it out over the water a little bit. Kind of like Tom's, but I don't think that's coming back. Yeah, OB. There is a low shot, too, that a lot of people like to throw. Keep it under the tree branches. It's a little turnover. Just a little branch. That would have been a good shot. Looks like Ben gets under most of it. That's a good drive. Can 
Get under that. Good shot for Joe. So it looks like Tom's going to the drop zone, which is the short tee on this hole. Great shot. It's a little risky throwing forehand on that with that water over there, but he's going to get it to stick. Ben's just going to lay it up, nice and safe. Those guys are all going to have dropping birdies. Great save for Tom. Good hole for these guys. This one's all the way up and to the right. Trees all in the fairway, thick on that right side if you go in, and you're shooting uphill. What more could you ask for? Good shot by Colin. He probably got a little ground play on that at the end. Put him in good shot or good spot for the, his second shot. Looks like that'll be all right. Good spot for Joe. Not doing anything too fancy. Another good shot. Looks like he's still got a little bit to get around the corner here. Oh, he's cutting it off, going taking a little tunnel route through the woods there. Looks like Colin got a little tight to that tree line. Or brush line. <laughs> I wouldn't call those trees. Got through. Tom had a much better angle from over there.
turns out a little bit, but that'll be all right. See if Ben can make this. Nice birdie. Tom has a nice look here. Another good birdie. Joe and Colin will pick up their pars. Hey, another par four. This one shoots down the hill. Not quite to the lake, but it's pretty slanted. You could actually get a roll and probably roll to the lake if, if you had some bad luck. This hole's got a couple different routes. That should be all right. That kick probably actually helped him. Looking good. Oh, one branch to beat. Wow, hugging that tree line. I don't know how far down he got. Sit. I guess we'll have to see when we get up there. That tree is exactly right where he wants to throw. <laughs> so it looks like he's going to try to go around it. Good shot. Oh, Joe really got down the hill. He's going to have a little uphill look here.
tickle. Nice par. Nice birdie for Joe. Birdie for Tom. Bogey for Ben. This is a fun shot. Over this water, some people with big arm go high and wide over the water and crash in on the other side. Most people just throw straight at it though. Just like Tom. Right on the edge. Joe's going to have a putt. OB. That was a tough... Tough branch there. It's a good looking shot by Ben. Gives it a little bid. Let's see what Tom has here. Oh, close. Birdie for Joe. Colin with the bogue. Tom's going to get his par. Ben with the drop in. Nice birdie. Another par four. This is a tough hole. You can see shoot up to pretty much a 90 degree angle and there's OB all behind it. Oh, gets a little tree kick there. You don't want to be too tight right and early and you don't want to hyzer off left. good spot to be. You want to be far enough where you're going to give yourself a look for your second shot. It's like the same tree Joe hit. Oh, I just got hung up. Looks 
Looks like Tom got around the corner. I love how this hole has picnic tables just everywhere. Chase told me a funny story about these picnic tables one time. But I won't go into it. Looks like he stayed safe. Ben got around the corner. Tricky little shot for Joe. You can see that OB line. It's uh, pretty much on the edge of the parking lot there to the left. If you go long or right, it's thick brush. It's got to get down. He's flirting with the OB line over there. Tom's putting for birdie. A little high. Sit. Nice birdie for Ben. Colin with the birdie. This is where the fun started. This kind of took a long time. They had to have a group group ruling and provisionals and Tom's going to clean up. So he was so close to the line that they couldn't really make a ruling. Ultimately, he was OB. This is really just a finesse hole. You don't want to throw it too far because it slants down and I've seen discs roll all the way to the lake. Looks like Colin's going real wide. Should be a good look. 
Joe going straight at it. It's got to settle down. Oh, he rolled to the lake. And you can see that's a brutal roll. He's got like about over a hundred feet on a comebacker. Maybe not a hundred, maybe like seventy. Colin's got a tester. Don't want to airball this one. It's got to sit down. Oh yeah, saves his par, putt of the round so far. Oh, rimmed out. Let's see if Ben can get the two. Nice birdie for Ben. Bogey for Joe, three for Tom. On to the next hole. Par five. I would say this is the signature hole at Westlake. Hey, that's me. So as you can see, the way this tee box is angled, it's kind of not, I don't know. These guys are going to kind of shoot off the corner of it going up towards where all those rocks are. And there's just, there's really no good footing anywhere but down low on that, that small grassy spot. And it's like a 50 foot radius of a landing area. So it's really tough to hit. A lot of people will hyzer off early. Or if you have a cannon like Tom, you just go, that was a good shot. Joe's a little early. The higher up on that hill you get, the, the, the more the footing is just messed. Like you're running downhill and trying to throw over water. It's got to get in there. Good shot. safe shot I guess it depends on how much you want to ch you want to bite off you know and risk going over that water to get the distance it's a good shot by Ben he's still gonna have some work I think Tom is throwing a new OS here Tom really hangs it out wide. This is going to be a good shot. Get in. It should be a good... He'll have a look. That's the best of all of them. It's still not an easy upshot.
safe. See if Tom can get this eagle. Nice. Joe for birdie. Birdie for Colin. And Ben's going to have a drop in birdie. All right, after 12, we got Ben Kroll, five down, Colin Poe at neg two, Joe Lula, five even, and Tom Earhart at plus two. Um, stay tuned for back 12 coverage and as always thanks for watching